information about the uh, one dimensional parameters so these parameters are stream order stream number bifurcation ratio aerial aspect deal with the two dimensional parameters it like drainage density stream length stream length ratio drainage texture stream frequency circularity ratio form factor and third aspect that is the relief aspect which deals with the three dimensional parameters like relief relief ratio slope and gradient ratio so the study of drainage patterns and morphometric analysis also helps to delineate the groundwater potential zone in a particular watershed so now how we can calculate morphometric analysis so there are different methodology which are used to determine the morphometric analysis of the any basin so there is a required uh, a river basin then second thing is that there are different topo sheets which is published by in india survey of india topo sheets are generally used then earlier time that was done by manually by tracing the particular drainage basin but now there are different so many softwares which are used in the uh, morphometric analysis so one of them is arcgis and for relief aspects there is now satellite data used on the basis of this we can determine the morphometric analysis of the any basin so linear aspects the drainage network in watershed is analyzed to calculate various linear parameters like stream order stream number stream length and bifurcation ratio so what is stream order first one so there are four different techniques for ordering a stream so according to gravinus by 1914 hartton 1945 but we are using according to the starler 1957 and 1964 methodology by using this method starler method uh, we can uh, determine stream order so according to this system when the two first order streams joins together then the formation of formation of second order stream when two second order streams joins together then there is formation of third order stream when third order streams two third order streams join together then there is a formation of fourth order and so on when two channels of different order join then there is a higher order is maintained so in this way we can calculate the stream order then stream number stream number the total number of streams present in each order is stream number so it is found that as the stream order increases the stream number decreases in this particular example we we can see kayadu river basin so there are 3818 streams of first order 990 streams which are second order 233 streams of the third order 59 streams of fourth order and 12 streams of the fifth order and two streams of the sixth order and one stream of the seventh order so the entire basin is seventh order so next parameter that is the stream length the total length of the individual stream segments of each order is the stream length of that particular order the stream length in each order increases exponentially with in increasing stream order total length of first order streams is 2470 km second order streams having length of 909 km third order streams having length that is the 526 km fourth order streams having length of 249 km fifth order streams having length of about 99 km sixth order stream having length of about 43 km and seventh order streams having length of about 66 km in particularly kayadu river basin then next parameter that is the stream length ratio so the stream length ratio is the ratio of mean or average length of segment of order of first order to the mean average length of the second order during the study it is found that the whole watershed having stream length ratio is in between we can say that can say that, that is that. the 0.70 to uh, 0.3 also this is the uh, length ratio which is found in the kayadu river basin so the next aspect that is the bifurcation ratio 
bifurcation ratio is the ratio of number of stream of first order to the number of streams of the higher order or second order according to the Sarler. But Chow 1964 stated that the bifurcation ratio values lies in between 3 to 5 for those watersheds where geological structure do not have influence on the drainage pattern. If it is greater than 5 then it means that the there is influence of some structural control on the particular basin. Now the second aspect that is the aerial aspect of the morphometric analysis. The real the aerial aspect are two dimensional properties of a basin. It is possible to delineate the area of a basin which contributes water to a each stream segment. The total area of the basin is 2128 square kilometer. The aerial aspect of the drainage basin such as drainage density, stream frequency, drainage texture, elongation ratio, circulatory ratio and form factor. So these are the factors we can determine on the basis of this uh, we can calculate the aerial aspect of that particular basin. The drainage density, the drainage density indicates the closeness of the spacing of the channels. Thus therefore it provides a quantitative measure of the average length of a steam channel for the whole basin, higher de drainage density is the result of impermeable surface material. Low drainage density leads to the coarse drainage texture file, high drainage density leads to the fine drainage texture. So this is regarding the drainage density. Then next aspect that is the stream frequency. Stream frequency is directly related to the lithological characteristics. The number of stream segments per unit area is termed as stream frequency or channel frequency or drainage frequency according to the Horton 1945. Total stream frequency of the study area it is maybe from uh, 3 square kilometer to uh, 9 square kilometer. So this is regarding the stream frequency. Drainage density. Drainage texture may be defined as the total number of stream segments of all order in a basin per perimeter of the basin. It is important to understand in geomorphology which indicates the relative spacing of a drainage lines. Drainage texture depends on the underlying lithology, what type of rock is there, infiltration capacity of that particular area and relief aspect of the terrain and on natural factors such as climate, rainfall, vegetation, rock, soil type relief and stage of development of that particular reefer. According to Smith, 1950 has classified drainage texture into five different categories or classes. Very coarse that is the if it is less than two, it is very coarse. If it is, if it is in between two to four, it is coarse. If it is in between four to six, it is moderate. If it is in between six to eight, that is the five and it is, if it is greater than 8, it means that it is very very fine drainage texture. So the next next aspect that is the elongation ratio. When we see the elongation ratio, it is defined as the ratio of diameter of a circle of the same area as the basin to the maximum basin line. The value of this elongation ratio varies from 0 to 1. 0 means it is elongated, highly elongated and 1 means it is circular. So the higher the value of elongation ratio, more circular will be the shape of the basin and vice versa. Values close to the one are typically regions of very low relief. Then the next aspect that is the circularity ratio. The circularity ratio it is a number of similar measure as the elongation ratio originally defined by Miller in 1953 as the ratio of the area of the basin to the area of the circle having same circumference as the basin perimeter. So the value of circularity ratio varies from 0 to 1. 0 means it is line, 1 means it is circle. So <coughs> circularity ratio is influenced by the length and frequency of the streams, geological structures and land use, land cover, climate, relief and slope of the basin. The next aspect that is the form factor. Form factor is a numerical index according to the Horton 1932. Commonly used to represent the different basin shapes, the value of form factor varies from 0.1 to 0.8 in particularly Kahedu river basin. Smaller the values of the form factor, more elongated will be the basin. The basin with high form factor 0.8 having high peak flows at a shorter duration. 
Whereas elongated drainage basin with low form factor have lower peak flow of longer duration, the alluvial basin of uh, basin show low form factor when we indicating elongated nature of the particular basin. Then the last aspect that the relief aspect, linear aspect and aerial aspect have been considered as two dimensional aspect lying on the plan. The third dimension introduces that is the concept of relief that is the basin relief. Basin relief is the elevation difference of the highest and lowest point of the valley floor. Basin relief plays a significant role in landform development, drainage development, surface and subsurface water flow. Permeability and erosional properties of the terrain. So basin relief is the elevation difference of the highest and lowest point of the valley. In particular, Kayadu River Basin, the lowest value of the relief that is the 390 meter that is the mean, a mean sea level and the highest value that is the that is the 610 meter from the mean sea level so this is regarding the basin uh, relief it so, plays a significant role in landform development drainage development surface and subsurface water flow permeability and erosional property of the terrain so therefore this basin relief is very very important the next aspect that is the relief ratio, it is the ratio of basin relief to the basin length. While high values are characteristics of hill regions, low values are characteristic of pedi plain and valleys. Then next one is the slope. Slope analysis is an important parameter in a geomorphic studies. The slope elements are controlled by the climatomorphogenic processes in the area having the rock of an understanding of slope of distribution is essential as the slope map provides data for planning, settlement, mechanization of agriculture, deforestation, planning of uh, engineering structures, morpho conservation, practice, etc. So therefore, this morphometric analysis is very very important aspects in the geomorphology. So, if you like my video, share and subscribe my YouTube channel that is you entire all about this.